up here. It's very hard to get bored because there's always something to do. Uh, we are pretty busy up here, but at the same time, when we do get free, free time, there's the earth to look at or getting to float around. That's always fun, no matter what you're doing. Over. Javadia, that's a great question. It, it's interesting. You'll go into a module to work, and you'll start working on a rack, and you'll get yourself in an orientation that, that makes it easy to work. We just listened to the International Space Station, if you couldn't tell. I'm going to explain how this worked. Okay, so this is my antenna. And it's actually two antennas in a way. Um, we've got three elements here. And that's the antenna that I used for listening to the International Space Station. It's made for what's called the two meter band and the other elements are for a different band. It's called the 70 centimeter band. This antenna is made for contacting low earth orbiting satellites normally, FM repeater satellites. So we didn't use these elements here, these shorter ones, we just used these longer elements. And uh, this is the element that is connected to the coaxial cable that goes to the radio. And and then this is the re uh, reflector. So these elements in the back are longer than the, I guess you call it the driven element normally. And then as you go up, they get shorter. So this one is shorter than this one, and that one is shorter than this one. And it's this, it's a true. It's also um, the same if you look at uh, the other antenna that's on this mast or this boom rather. So that comes down this coaxial cable that signal and then comes into the radio and you can see that we were on let's see turn it on when I just killed the battery or something anyway we were on there we go 145.8 and what you'll notice earlier is when I um I had to adjust this up here it was getting distorted and that's because of Doppler shift so as the satellite comes towards you uh, the Doppler causes you to have to be at a higher frequency the Doppler effect so I was at 805 in the beginning and I noticed it got distorted and I forgot about Doppler because I was so excited uh, listening to this. And then I remembered what was going on, so I turned it back to which is the actual frequency they're transmitting on, the, uh, the ISS. And then it became less distorted. Um, if it had been a more overhead pass, which it wasn't, um, we would have probably had to go down one um, more increment on my radio as well, but, but we didn't. So the actual path, this is... Uh, north this direction yeah that's north and then that's west and then this is east so it came from kind of the uh, west I don't know I guess you could say it west northwest and then it so it basically came I think like this well that doesn't really work with the camera but um anyway so you follow the uh, this antenna's directional that's that's what the point of these the reflector the driven element and then the I don't know what that's called but it's directional so the reflector um, in that way goes it's your direction I can't explain it any better than that right now because I just don't know so anyway um, that's that's that we didn't hear the um, the other side of the conversation unfortunately because that was a school that was talking to them in 
Virginia somewhere. I can't remember the details. I got an email about this about an hour ago, a couple hours ago. Somebody sent an email to the NTSU Ham Radio Club, W4ATC. Uh, the guy that actually sent the email is um, KK4FBC uh, Coleman, something Coleman. I can't remember his first name, but I have to thank him for sending out that email because otherwise I wouldn't have known about this. And this antenna I've had for since I first got into ham radio when I was like 16. I haven't used this antenna for anything since then, so it's really cool to, to get it out and to be able to use it for, you know, to have the first contact be the ISS, the International Space Station. Um, and like I said, normally I use it to work FM repeaters, low earth orbiting LEO satellite repeaters. And what they do is they have an uplink and a downlink um, on two different bands. And that's what the, this is the 70 centimeter band elements right here, the shorter ones. That's about, so that would be about 440, 470 megahertz, 70 centimeters, you know, frequency and wavelength are equivalent. And then this is uh, for two meters, which is 140 megahertz, 146 megahertz, 144 through 146 is the actual band. So, so normally what I do with this antenna is um, there's a, a satellite and a, I'll transmit on two meters and then it'll retransmit simultaneously while it's going overhead, you know, and it can see half of the world. And it will retransmit to anybody else that's listening. So I can talk to people with this setup here um, in, you know, the northern parts of South America all the way up into Canada, um, all over North America. So that's what I've used this for in the past. But um, today, because it's a nice directional antenna that you can hold in your hand, it worked well to listen to the ISS. So I hope you enjoy that as much as I did, and have a nice day. Thanks. This is John, KG4, AKV.